also saw Coach Robinson at his alma mater now in his 11th season. Duke, of course, in their home whites. A turnover for Duke, and off of that from three, rebound for the Duke Blue Devils. Jordan Oliver missed all of last year. What a great outlet and the finish at the bucket. Defending the backdoor cut. Now at the top, in and out, rebound again for Duke. They'll push it with Taylor. As you see the Duke starters across the bottom of your ACC Network Extra screen. In. And crashing the offensive boards. Good ball movement again. Just can't knock it down right now. Unlucky from distance there for Davis. The push is on. Here's Taylor. Taylor, such a difference maker for Duke. And another bucket here for Duke. And they wanted to be disruptive. I think you're disruptive if you've held the team to 0 for 8 shooting to start here. You see Cheyenne Day Wilson, last year's ACC Freshman of the Year, into the game with the great pass. Things for the program, won three MEAC championships, the latest in 2021, three NCAA tournament bids, three WNIT, 520 win seasons. He's really raised the bar for the Aggies. California Valley Christian High School, she makes them both and it's 10-2. Limited pressure there coming from the Aggies. Celeste Taylor. Started to talk about the fact that I, was, I called that game in Syracuse where she had that horrendous injury, upper body, and they missed her. They missed her so much. She was out for seven games, and they were 2-5 and five without Celeste Taylor. She's their leader. She's their engine, and there's the clock, the 2-2-1, and slow Duke down a little bit. Make them make a couple passes before they have cross half court and now settle into their offense. DeJesus gets the play from Coach Lawson, and off they go. Looked like Brown was thinking about shooting that shot. Quick pass over to Taylor. A Taylor, couple dribbles, yes. A and T in his zone. First points of the game for Taylor. Brown out there with four to Hazes with three. That looked like a looked like a travel, but they'll call it a block. Jasmine Harris, second team all CAA selection. She gets to the free throw run. Harris from McLeansville, North Carolina, a transfer from Charlotte, went to Eastern Guilford High School and. Balagoon missed her first three. DeJesus did well, though, to get a rebound. And out of bounds off Balagoon, so here comes the Aggies. Bounce pass behind Harris. Good hustle by Harris. Marked by Brown. Right into trouble and kind of gets bailed out right there. Harris, two for two. Now three for three. Right now looking pretty good. Eight for eight was pretty solid because that's a lot to manage, but she's enjoying it. Yeah, it's a lot of bodies, a lot of people to keep happy, a lot of people to get playing time, but she seems to think it's working out well. Nice pass into the heart of the defense. The layup, but DeJesus hustles back, knocks it off the leg, and gets the ball back for the Blue Devils. I've always felt, Debbie, that DeJesus has a tremendous basketball IQ. And a three there for the Duke Blue Devils. Smart player. You like seeing her out on the court. She makes everybody on the team better. And the Aggies still scoreless from the field, oh, taking good shots. Well, yeah, that was, and that was great effort from Willis to steal it back. Balagoon goes in hard, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Almost eight and a half points, four and a half rebounds last season for the Blue Devils. And five rebounds per game. This spent two years at Louisville where her production went down. Talked about, Robinson talked about just making sure shots go down to start the game. And right now, no field goals for the Aggies. Good pass underneath, and a perfect finish. Heidi, extra pass, looking for Richardson. To Jesus, good pick and roll, executed perfectly. Heidi gets the bucket. If you're the deep coaching staff, you have to be really happy with the way they are sharing the ball. Lots of touches, good ball movement, taking the best possible shot, knocking the shots down. There's a bucket for Harris. Good set play. And it's season, and as we said, Duke has eight new players, but they look just poised and in control and really solid right now. Quick passes. Ball never touched the court, and they get a three. Cut opens up a three off the back end of the rim. Rebound picked back up by Balagoon, up and in for Duke. He was going to do the dive. Coach Lawson and the fans would have loved it. Rebound Duke, they'll push it. 
Eaton. Another shot late in the shot clock. Credit the Blue Devil defense with the great pressure. Nice back cut. Ooh, nice good pass. pass by Day Wilson, and there's the foul. And she's a great-looking freshman, number three, Ashlyn Jackson. We said she's from Texas, McDonald's All-American. Well, and Duke, they, their guards are tall, 5'11", 6'1". It's a 22-point lead for the home team, Duke. Blocked again. Great job. Volker being disruptive. Now the push coming from Oliver. Blue Devil defense not giving anything to the Aggies. Or they're doing a flat show and getting over it. And then really on every single one, they, they just have made nothing easy for a and <laughs> Even that shot. Coach will take that. Aggies oh. are 1 for 22 right now. Good pass to break that press and underneath. Good pump fake. Coach Robinson will take it. Little runner, tough shot to make, and a rebound pulled down by Volker. And she rejects the ball screen that time. She hasn't had a lot of success trying to use it. She's still an oh. uncomfortable shot in the beautiful Taylor pass. to Balagoons. You got to get the ball into that free throw line. You got to reverse the floor and find an open player. And the Blue Devils have been doing all of the above. Duke shooting 53% and holding A&T to a miserable 8%. A&T driving to the bucket. On the Blue Devil squad this season. Long way back and looking good for Duke. The Aggies will push it, miss it at the rim. Balagoon with the rebound, the outlet, Bolin. Good cross card pass to the rim, and Volker will shoot. Makes the second, five points. Up that 50% free throw is so important, especially when we get into ACC play. One of the first wide open shots we've seen for AT. We've got a two on one here. Great pass and a finish by Taylor at the buzzer. Just win the tournament and get in type of league. Well, after all those years in the MIAC and then the Big South, they're going to have to take a big step to play in the Colonial. It's a higher level of talent, it's a different level of recruiting, and this team's ready to take it on. They've had tons of success. You can see his team is well coached, they execute well, do great back cut, drawing that play on the board. Nice read, nice pass. And the, the passes for Duke tonight have been like on the money. Precision passing is really important, and that's offensive execution, being consistent with your offensive execution, setting good screens, making good passes. Great start for Duke with the backdoor finish. Different starting five for Coach Lawson here. As driving to the basket up and in. You like to see that. And the reigning ACC Freshman of the Year, Day Wilson, getting the start in the second. Back down to Brown. Wow, that's a nice little move. Duke with four players with two. Taylor, Horsdale, Brown, DeJesus. Actually five as Day Wilson also with two. Forty-three to eighteen. Racon has made a shot already. Drops it over to Harris, and Harris is in double digits with ten. Too much in this broadcast, um, and she hasn't played a ton. You know, she is the reigning freshman of the year. She had one of the best freshman seasons in Duke history. As we see that nice drive to the basket. Tucker, extra pass behind the three, off the iron. Shooting woes continue. Good looks for A and T, but they're not making. It. That's the way you run the court. Showtime for. He, when you think Showtime, you tell me you think Magic. <laughs> you know, I love that Magic. Does he own a pickleball team yet, like everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> Here come the Aggies. Nice move. Well done by Bracone. And Harris, she rolls off of it. And he defends well. Harris still getting the rebound, and she will go to the line again. She's such a presence in the paint. 13 for 13. Me. I like how this A&T team competes. And they come out of the locker room at halftime with a pretty significant deficit. Taylor. Eyes on a swivel for Taylor. Shot clock at 10. Taylor, what a pass. Oh, and it slips out of Balagoon's hands. She gets bailed. Yeah, you see Harris with 12. And then half her team's points. Two for 27 for the Aggies. And, 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 and <laughs> Duke defense is making every shot difficult. Right there with the press, forcing the turnover. 
Harris getting it back. Yeah, Harris did well. Balagoon forced the first turnover, and that'll be the fourth foul. ...in their lineup this year. Well, speaking of that, 12 players for Duke. It's a lot of depth. What Duke has brought is depth, size, and athleticism. All components that they were lacking last year. Clearly, it's made a very big difference. Taylor sets her feet. Yes! They've doubled up A&T, 52 to 26. Calls a turnover to Jesus with a brilliant drop. Taylor sets her feet again. Yes, again, 55. Out of the lineup, she just brings such a spark to this program. She's five for six. Great pass to Balogun, who's now at nine. Full court press. 57 to 26, showing you that every second counts for Coach Lawson as they start the season here early on a Monday morning. Start at 11 a.m. Well, that's a great shot from deep by can do a lot of things around the perimeter, according to Coach Lawson. And Harris can do a lot of things. Harris. Peter Summers, Meredith Reeder, Tanner King, and the rebound for Balagoon. Will Black and the whistle there. And 6 1 senior from Nigeria. ACC Freshman of the Year, transferred to Louisville and ended up here in Durham last season. Shot clock at five. 1v1 defense. Youngster Jackson, and that's just, oh my. Gets her on the arm and sends her to the free throw line with under a second on the shot clock. A, a fan of that play, but um, again, another learning opportunity, and that is what early season non-conference... Balagoon trying to make up for that foul in and out. Balagoon had a wide open teammate in the corner off of that. Right now we're going to see different leading scorers every time we see Duke play this season. It's a lot of options. I don't know if I can say I ever had that luxury. <laughs> it's a nice one to have. Indeed. Got to press. I think we're going to see a lot of different, uh, not a lot, but different starting lineups based on opponents based on you know scouts who's playing well that week there's so many options and, and that's where players have to really be unselfish they may not get the same minutes one game as they get the next and they just have to keep going strong just the nice drive to the basket high expectations for the mcdonald's all-american this season she will remember that basket for coach lawson and duke duke now at 61. blue devil switching out on the perimeter again forced shot at the end of the shot clock by Jasmine Harris. Nonetheless, a and to the free throw line. You know, an AT t 20 made free throws, make it 21. Duke has gone over three and a half minutes without a field goal. Still a gigantic lead. 61-36 the score here. Another foul. Racone sitting on seven. She's got eight. 37 points have come from the free throw line. She'll stay in there, though, because of the depth that you have broken down so eloquently, Debbie. <laughs> so much depth. A little press by the Aggies. A little one-two-two, -two, trying to force a turnover. Oliver, quick pass to Taylor. Taylor drops it over, and a perfect pass to Brown. The Blue Devil press continues. She's hard to stop, but I love the pass, though, from Taylor. Duke defensively, a lot of fouls, but I still think that's part of the disruptive nature that Coach Lawson wants to bring this year for Duke. Without a doubt, and the, and the discipline piece of the discipline defense comes with game experience, learning how to play with your feet, not with your hands, learning how to do, you know, do the right. That all comes in time. Oliver breaks the press by herself. Oh, nice to Jesus. Running it around. The isolation down low and the finish. Nice job by Nine. Men's team opening their season tonight. Coach John Shire, first year at the helm. First game of his young career. A lot of excitement in Durham. Black. Twenty-six. Now 
25 of their 44 from Jackson, the freshman from Texas, back into the game. It's Taylor in front of the rim, a rebound for Harris. She's got six rebounds to go with her 14 points. That looked like an offensive foul to me. They'll call a block. A T is back on the charity stripe. Up and over the top, Taylor, and we'll miss it on the left side. If I'm Coach Robinson, I'm proud of my team today. I mean, they had a hard time putting the ball in the basket. They're playing against the ball, and, and they just continue to grow with their eight new players and, and, and get better with this game. 28. A little bit too long there from Jackson, who's 0 for 4. Nice outlet pass. And a finish as the Aggies. 65 to 49. It's a beautiful, beautiful pinpoint pass and transition by Jordan Dorsey, the sophomore. Much needed basket. You know, teams are still working on conditioning as well. You, you know, there's practice shape, but there is game shape. And game shape is on well, those 27 fouls, I'm confident, are going to be a very big focal point of the film session tomorrow. See once conference play starts and expect to win games. So. Blue Devils will take that one, learn from it. Great hands. Pushing it is Oliver. Oliver, high praise from Coach Lawson before the game. Open three. No, but the rebound and a foul is right back in there is Harris. That was a short break for her. Harris, one rebound away. The big for A&T. And a &T now with three players in double digits. Harris leading the way with 16 points and nine rebounds. Bracone with 11 and Willis with 10. And Jackson now with five. It's going to be hard not to call her action Ashlyn Jackson. Wow. Are you with me on that? Oh, for sure. The freshman, that's a good-looking freshman. She's going to have a nice career here in Durham. Back to 20. Duke has made their three of their last three. And Harris. November 25th, Phil Knight Classic against UConn out, out on the West Coast. Has kept them in this one. <laughs> wow. On a night where they only shot 22% from the floor, the free throws, 92% from the free throw line has is, is, is kept them in this game. And no points for the reigning ACC Freshman Player of the Year as Balagoon misses the first. She's going to have to embrace her role on this team, and, and only Coach Lawson knows what that is and what they tell her, and, and what is her role. She has played double-digit minutes, and Bolin played nine minutes. And Bolin's out there. Oh, Heidi's out there. Four players in double digits for Duke. Another extra pass. And a three from Jackson. Final seconds counting down. Go ahead, Debbie. Eight points for the freshman. She's had a great start in Cameron today. The Monday matinee, matinee to kick off the...